in the news now in an article that comes from business tech and as usual you can find it in the description below the video we have a headline that once again should see people's hair rising and see their emotions stirred because the headline reads that 89 million rand will be spent in upgrades planned for south african politician residences now these residences many people don't even know that they exist uh, down in cape town in acacia park during the the worst of the drought uh, where this day zero was looming in front of us that was the greenest area in cape town and the satellite images confirm that if you just found the green spot in the city metro you found where the politicians lived and in this case this is all about upgrading these residences and this is when parliament is in city there are various places where parliamentarians can go and live it's not their normal residence so it's not houses that they own it's places where they go and stay and they get their own place to stay during uh, the sitting of the parliament and i'll just go through what is actually being planned the Department of Public Works and Infrastructure is planning a number of refurbishments and upgrades to government buildings across South Africa. Now it's easy to say government buildings, but once you hear what it's actually about, then you'll understand. This will include upgrades of refurbishments to 245 members of parliament residential units in parliamentary villages, the department said in a presentation to parliament last week. The department said that the housing upgrades will include general building repairs and renovations, electrical installations, replacement of appliances, structural repairs were required. In his presentation to Parliament, Ms. Wandile Sazona, Chief Director of the Public Works Department's Prestige Portfolio, said that the parliamentary houses needed to be renovated as they had become dilapidated. And then you can actually see the breakdown in the article. Please go to the link, have a look at the article and then look at the presentation to parliament so it says here uh, mp houses renovations and the tender that they have received is 88.997 million and 40 rand now the previous pro projects estimate before the tender was 110 million so at least the tender came in under that amount the total contract value of the renovations is 88.9 million based on tenders received a contractor has already been appointed and the project is expected to be executed in phases with 50 units being worked on per phase nice fat contract the department said that it was also working on a number of other upgrades for government buildings which are outlined in more detail below so if you have a look at this article you will actually see how our money is being spent on parliamentarians <clears throat> so this is besides the normal salary and all the perks that they the normal perks that they receive so the other buildings the headline reads external security enhancements at an estimated cost of 68.68 million this is additional to the 89 million all entrance gates and booms are to are to be mechanically operated and electronically controlled from either new or existing upgraded guard houses Installation of anti-ramming devices to, ve the, to vehicular entrances, retractable bollards where possible. Extension of the existing perimeter fence to meet the SAP's minimum requirements, construction of structural canopies at all vehicular entrances. This includes upgrades of all entry points to the parliamentary precinct and buildings. Upgrading of surveillance equipment in and around the parliament precinct. And then external security enhancement. Various kitchens in Parliament buildings at an estimated cost of 25 million. This is additional, remember. This will include the replacement of kitchen equipment and redesign of kitchens of the following addresses. 90 Plain Street, Marks Building, National Assembly, Old Assembly Kitchens. The proposed renovations have largely been criticized by the Committee on the Financial Management of Parliament, with MPs pointing to the exorbitant cost as well as the necessity of security measures such as anti-ramming devices. The committee also criticized the unnecessary delay of the projects that have been on the cards for some time, the fact that some of the projects are unnecessary, and the escalation of costs due to the delays. 
Speaker of the National Assembly, Tandy Modise, said that Parliament was not going to spend 25 million refurbishing kitchens in her name. Now that's a good thing for the Speaker to say. She further scolded the scolded the department over this uh, sidelining your oh, the spelling is terrible here and the, the words i'm trying to fix it as i go along she further scolded the department over the sidelining of parliament in discussions around the refurbishment the department should not tell parliament what it needs what its needs are but should respond to the needs that parliament had identified she said now this makes logical sense it's actually nice hearing someone saying that when Parliament says that they have specific needs, that then the department should respond. That they shouldn't tell Parliament what they need. And I agree fully. Parliament can't be told by the department, for example, to fit an alarm that is unnecessary or unnecessarily uh, replace a gate. We need to participate, not to be informed, said Modise. She said Parliament must take over its uh, maintenance budget and that managing its own facilities would require knowledgeable facilities management that must include expertise about how to manage heritage buildings. Now, uh, kudos to Tani Modise for saying what she said. It's not often that someone from the ruling party comes up for what is right. And now I know many people in the ruling party that are absolutely excellent and trying to fight the battles internally. In fact, in all the parties, you will find good people. The problem is the system that fails them. And let's see if the system will fail her again in a quest to stop the wastage of this money. So there are these people, 89 million to be spent on parliamentarians' houses, another 68 million on security upgrades, and then another 25 million on kitchens. There you have it. Absolutely incredible. So we're looking at an expenditure of almost 200 million rand here. And who knows if there's going to be contract overruns. A lot of these, uh, the contracts, the prices actually went up because they waited too long before they were supposed to put these proposals in. And just total lack of competence. And when you lack competence, you will waste money. And it's not their money to waste. You know, it's taxpayers' money. It's our money. This is supposed to be our government. But unfortunately, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. And this is why we need to get a new governance system in place. Uh, why we need, because this current governance system hasn't worked for us. Why we need to change the electoral system. And to do that, we need to change the constitution. But I thank you all for watching this video. There's more videos coming up today. For those of you that don't receive notifications and see this video, make sure that you click the bell icon. For those of you that haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel so you can get notification on notifications on future videos. Thank you very much. Till the next video.